No one wants to be the bearer of bad news, but sometimes you have to. So let's have a look at how to give bad news to your client, your sponsor, or your boss. Two things can make bad news even worse. And the first is pretending that it isn't bad news, which leaves your stakeholder feeling ambushed when they realize that it really is. The second is making a big drama out of the news so that the process feels more significant than the news itself. Or worse, it feels as if you are making the moment about you rather than about them and the news. Nothing will make the bad news better, so the best thing you can do is give it quickly and efficiently without seeming blunt or uncaring. And it often helps to give a short warning so that your stakeholder can prepare themselves to receive it. It's also the honest thing to do because, let's face it, they probably sense something is up from your demeanour. They may also sense something is up from the unexpectedness of the timing of your approach. So here are nine steps that I would advocate for giving bad news. First, sometimes physically preparing them for the bad news can be important for their safety. Extremely bad news can sometimes literally take the legs out from under us. We go wobbly and we can collapse. Therefore, it is worth sometimes saying, I have some bad news. You may want to sit down. Now, tell them the news directly. We have found a serious flaw in the software that may set us back four months and cost us over $350,000. Next, give them time to understand what you have said in silence. Don't try to accelerate this part. It's very important. It may take less than a second or many minutes. Give them time. Now, be ready to deal with strong emotion. With bad news, strong emotions are a likely outcome and you need to give them the time to respond and the space to do it safely. Listen to their response without criticism. It's their response. It belongs to them. You need to respect it for what it is. Once again, it is important to give them time to let the emotions out of their system. The next point is that it is disrespectful to say, I know how you feel because you don't. But you can empathise by observing their words and behaviours and by saying something like, I understand that this must make you feel very angry. If the response gets too hot, you may need to step away. But realistically, the most likely response is that it will cool down in its own time, maybe slowly. If you just get anger, Avoid confrontational face-to-face -face postures and too much eye contact. Allow them time to let off steam and recognise that unless you're the cause of the bad news, you're only the bearer. The anger may seem like it's directed to you, but it isn't about you. As the emotions subside, ask them if they want a break or if they're ready to carry on the conversation. When they are ready, invite them to ask questions. When people are in a highly emotional state, their rational brain loses control and they don't necessarily think in a logical way. 
As a result, they need you to take control of the process. But importantly, this does not mean trying to take control of them. Always be respectful in sensing how much control they want you to take. As the conversation draws to an end, offer whatever support you can. Finish the conversation with a simple message of what will come next. It may be the next stage in the process of when you might speak again or how to contact you. It may be a decision you need or an action you're asking them to take. But importantly, keep it simple. Their ability to process complex information in a rational way may be compromised by having also to emotionally process the bad news itself. And finally, if appropriate, check in with them at some time later. Delivering tough messages is rather like delivering bad news, but with a much lower emotional intensity. But there will be emotion, so it makes sense to break up the tough message into small bite-sized chunks. And of course, between each chunk, listen attentively and give people time to respond. And if they do express feelings and emotions, then acknowledge them and be respectful of them. Because the emotions are likely to be less intense with tough messages, it can make sense to move quickly to some future thinking to figure out what's going to come next, working together with the stakeholder. If you can, come up with a joint plan to how you're going to respond to the situation. This advice is an extract from my book, How to Speak So People Listen, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be creating loads more great project management content for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.